When I was an undergraduate uh, in Pittsburgh, I had an internship with Dr. Manzi. At the same time, my roommate was actually diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, and so I was sort of thrown into this world of autoimmunity and I became very interested in it. I consider myself very lucky that now that I'm at NYU, I'm able to learn from Dr. Clancy and Dr. Bayon while I complete my medical training. I think I certainly want a career in research and medicine, um, so sort of a physician scientist, and um, I see myself continuing um, the path of rheumatology and um, hopefully be a rheumatologist. I originally became interested in rheumatology when I was in my third year medical school. I met an attending physician there who I became close with and who I just connected with on a level that was really helpful for me in my career, and she introduced me to my mentor, Dr. Christina Drunkard. I hope to go into academic medicine um, because of the aspects of teaching and also research that are available to me, and I also want to be heavily involved still with patient care. I love working with patients, and I hope to make their lives slightly better in whatever way I can. I see myself becoming a uh, immunologist, uh, focusing on the immune system, how it works. Being this is the, one of the first grants that I've received, it's a great first step. It's really inspiring to see where the fields come from, to imagine where it might go. The most important thing is to be very creative. It's very rewarding when you can make a, an impact. The one thing I should have said is to find a mentor who is also very, very interested in this area because, because that person will not stop. A great mentor has that kind of power to encourage a young, younger generation. I want to be like him, but I think you need that kind of personality to be able to do that. So I think he's one of a kind, and I'm so lucky.